on boys welcome to today's video you already know what we're installing today installing the fuel on the drift go cart we got home depot's goodies to wrap up the project so today we're going to be finishing up the entire fuel system on the go-kart today uh, if you didn't see the previous video go watch it basically we installed the half plate um, with the fuel pump uh, and throttle system on the go-kart so if you guys don't already know here is my drift go-kart if you're new to the channel um, basically solid axle prior to 212 with stage one except I switched to the stock intake because uh, the aftermarket one was so close to the PVC that it was like hitting it at some point and basically you're doing an external um, uh, fuel system with this fuel tank and then the half throttle plate and then we got the fuel pump and then the fuel cooler is going to be right there in the rear bash bar. Uh, we got our throttle system right here with a bigger spring on it um, and then we got our breather valve cover that'll pulse to our pulse pump and we got the e-brake mod along with the angle mod so if you guys haven't watched those videos uh, I'll leave a link to in the top right corner for you guys if you want to convert your co -kart, your go-kart to a drift cart so uh, just to make it a little bit cooler uh, we're gonna be doing the fuel cooler uh, to add a little bit more performance to it and it's something that no one's ever done before so I'm really excited to get this underway because there's no information about it so once I like today we're gonna be installing the fuel cooler I'll make another video explaining how it works um, and like why you might even consider doing this to your go-kart or your car or whatever project you're working on because um, it's just a cool little feature that um, not a lot of people know about and it's a really simple scientific thing so without further ado let's get into it boys so here's the fuel cooler that I got it's just a universal cooler off uh, eBay and when I got this in the kit um, it came with this line right here um, which I believe is a 3 8 inner diameter line and um and so along with the line it just comes with a bunch of clamps and other fittings like that um for only like a couple like 20 plus dollars on uh ebay and the reason i pulled the hose out of the home depot bag was because you know to figure out what fittings i needed and that kind of thing and so for the fittings basically you got um like three eighths inner diameter fittings that went to a quarter inch inner diameter uh, line and so that's how we're going to be able to um, feed our fuel pump because these are quarter inch inner diameter fittings so basically from going to the bigger fitting to uh, the smaller fittings we'll have two of these so we'll have the quarter inch inner diameter from the fuel tank to the um to the cooler and then from the cooler to the pump and then from the pump to the engine so essentially since we have the same fitting going in and out of the cooler we won't be fuel starving the engine and also it'll almost be like a second reservoir of fuel but just cooled down so then it'll compact the fuel more and create more power so um, basically that's what we're going to be doing and uh, just running all the lines and then mocking up the cooler uh, to sit in the back bash bar right there which will look freaking sick so let's go ahead and do that. fuel tank all in and secure we can go ahead and start mocking up the um the fuel cooler because we want we don't want to run lines until we know the position of it and how far and where we should 
like you know the best way to run these lines so it looks all tucked nice and neat and all that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and mock up this cooler so what i had in mind for mocking up this cooler i figured we could use these back holes on the one side and have that be supported by something behind it um versus in front so kind of what i was thinking is that it would sit this way with the um the feed and return lines facing the engine sitting somewhere around there would look really cool um and then using or i guess it'd be that way using these as a uh, mounting point for brackets you know for this even though it doesn't line up we'll get some piece of metal to um you know connect these two areas but sit right there and then because we have this back plate right here we would use the bolt holes in it to create the supporting for the bottom which would feed right under the axle which has just enough clearance and then run the lines and we should be good all right so this is what i was thinking of using as a mounting source i'm just kind of i'll take out these bolts that i have in it right now mark some holes drill them and then put that in place and then um probably cut out the like slots that they're in and then bend it at the angle that i want and then i have two more that'll go um you know from these holes to the uh cooler and we should be all good so i'm gonna go ahead and mock this one up and we'll see how it looks guys so basically I've kind of abandoned this bracket because it brings the cooler like too close to this and I don't want it to like pure like bolts to like pierce the cooler and stuff so basically what I'm doing is I'm um, using these little L brackets and going to like bend them in a different way and I don't know I'll figure something out but for right now I have to go to practice and then I'll be back to finish this up so we'll get back to you right now and we're back like that and uh as you can see i did do some quick work off camera and basically i put two l brackets bent it and uh yeah so basically here's here like at the angle that i have it that's how she's looking boys oh got some good clearance from the sprocket and it'll be perfect with this little mount right here that we can run a line and uh um you know like little like you know like secure for the for the hose and or for like the fuel lines but otherwise she's pretty centered and uh looking very good boys so making good progress now i gotta zip tie this down and then get the final bottom mounts in and we should be good to go boys And like that boys she's done she's done oh here's a good look at it sheesh that looks so sick honestly super happy with how it came out um i know some people might be like asking about the rest of the zip tie but what i did was just loop it through like the existing holes on it and uh not gonna lie it looks kind of sick so i might leave it like that just in case i had to like take it off or do some readjustments and stuff um still have plenty of clearance um from like the sprocket guide and 
plenty of clearance from the ground. And I mean, she isn't like in there tight. I mean, but she's she's not moving, boys. Those do very well. Those seat mounts right there. Um, if you're worried, like why I'm gonna why I have it in here is just for like you know just to get it all situated. But I'm gonna put those bolts in the seat when. Um, I do officially put the seat back in. I'm just waiting on a mount because if you watched last video, my mount broke off from right there. So I'm gonna have another one of these um, right there and then two in the bottom. So once that's in, we'll be able to take it for a rip. But to finish this off, we just gotta plumb the lines. So essentially, I think what I'm gonna have is this top line go to the pump and then the bottom one be from the tank so um i think what i'm gonna do is get some like heat resistant tape and then have one of the lines go from this one right here through these um it could either wrap under here and go along with this and then just cut in but then you'd have to make a really sharp 90 or you could just go from here to like this little mounting point, run it and snake it through all this. And then, yeah, do like another little bracket there, run it up this into the tank, um, which I might do that route because that's the feed to the cooler. So it doesn't really matter how warm it is because this will cool it down anyway. Um, but then this one will probably go, to like, you know, we'll come up with some sort of bracket on here. And then heat resistant tape, maybe go through the stock intake, somehow like squirm it through to here. So at least it's pointing in the right direction, the, um, you know, where the feed is on the pump. Uh, for this one, I have to do a sharp 90 heat resistant tape and make it go underneath into the carb so yeah essentially I'm gonna run this line like that so it's not super as close to the tank uh, to the engine and then have it connect to right there so these two have to connect right here and then this one probably run it somewhere along here into the cooler so honestly the hardest part is done which is mounting this and i know a lot of you might think that like this looks ugly ugly right now and i agree so i think at some point i might paint this or i might just like polish it up so it goes with the rest of the chrome on the cart so um i apologize if i haven't done a good amount of filming but we got it all mounted and man does it look sick i'm sure from the back let me get a back view for you guys. Damn, boys. Sheesh. She's looking good. Looking really good. Man, that looks so sick. Actually super happy with that. Um, wow, that looks super cool. Oh man, I can't wait for the seat to be in because then it'll pop even more against like the, you know, the, the tan or like the, you know, different colored seat, so. It'll really pop against all this black, but I really wanted something to take the place of this because it was so empty. And now with these tail lights on and this here, this just looks really good. Really good. I can't wait till all the lines are ran and give her the first start. Oh man, I cannot wait. Cause that looks so sick. Oh my gosh. How's this my cart right now? All right guys, so basically what you guys just saw was me put in the fittings. So basically I did one from the cooler to uh, the pipe that it gave me and then to the 3 8 fitting and then I put um, this like uh, 
pipe thread sealer tape on it and and then I put that uh, on the connection for the 3 8 and then the quarter inch inner diameter and I repeated it for the bottom so this will be the feed and then this will be the outlet for the cold fuel to the pump so um, I might just run a line zip tie it to the spark plug wire and then have it run into this um, and then we might be good and then this one can just get ran I'll put um, little locks on all of them because this is fuel that we're messing with so I uh, don't want to mess around with you know one of these uh, accidentally popping off and that kind of thing so um, let's see let's run this one and see what it looks like And that's it boys the fueled go-kart or like fueled cooled go-kart is officially done uh let's just run over what i've done as you can see it's already dark because i've been trying to grind on this thing so we have a clamp holding in the um the hose coming from the tank and if you're wondering yes there is a hose inside so then fuel can get um, from in there, there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hose, I don't know, maybe you can see it, that hose right there, uh, that hose, yeah, it's hard to see, but there's a hose in there, so essentially, that reaches the bottom, and, uh, and then it'll get fuel from the bottom, feed it up through here, I actually managed to squeeze it in between the mount, and the engine mount ah, move um so it's ran between both uh you know in between the engine mount bottom here zip tied so it doesn't hit the axle and then you have your fitting to your fuel cooler and then another fitting and then the line is gone and then zip tied to the uh the spark plug wire and then ran to the pump and then from the pump it comes out to uh, some heat resistant tape to a um, filter to more tape uh, zip tied down right there so then uh, you know it doesn't hit the throttle link uh, rod and then it comes down to inside the carb and that's the system and then it's hold on by 290 brackets and then these um, but once the seat is in then I'll put the official screws through the seat through this and then through the bottom pan and these are so thin that uh, you know it really doesn't sacrifice any thread so that's pretty sweet uh, there's another look at the um, the thing oh I'm running low on battery but basically it's all done and I hate to do this to you guys but we're not going to be starting in this video, so if you guys want to stay tuned for the next video to see if it'll run or blow up, that'd be awesome. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe for that. I'll see you guys in the next one.